one. Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, playing some more Terror Attack. And I'm running version 0.7, the newest stable build, but this is actually a save that was started in the previous update by a uh, fellow Terratechian. Who goes, uh, maybe I shouldn't say names. He'll, he'll know who he is, and everyone who knows, you know, they'll know it. They've seen it if you watch the streams and that, but that's kind of the thing. The stream was kind of not giving it the showing that it maybe should have got. So, I got talking to him afterwards and that on TeamSpeak. If you guys are interested, that's it's kind of cool. I've been on there a few times, gabbing. There's a TerraTech uh, think tank in there, and I think there's another spot too, a social hall. But anyway, this is more about this tech, and uh, it deserving a bit more of a showing. Because if you notice, these blue things mean a tech each, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight techs. Nine techs in one. So first thing that I come across is I notice that there was no cab on this center when I tried to click it. So I added a cab just so this would work. So now I got that guy there. He's lined up. Well, he was there in the when I started. Let's see if we can tag him a bit. Oh, maybe not just yet. I gotta move forward a hair. So here's the thing with the artillery techs. You gotta move them, you gotta switch and stuff like that. Which is good. Because really, you're out of range. They're not gonna come after you. Not, well, most likely not. Let's see if that was enough. There, now we're getting them. We're just gonna work on him a bit. Let's see if we can take him out. And all this gab <laughs> so yeah as you can see there's a ton of megatons on this very effectively look at that that's working great I've been seeing a lot of these artillery techs around recently and well for the last little while and uh, I've been thinking and thinking and I've wanted to build one well, I started one and it's gonna be something <laughs> I'll just leave it at that but this is about this tech now this tech here, kind of appropriately named, is called God Slayer. I don't know how many gods there are in Terra Tech, but this might put them up, give them a pretty good fight. So now there's the main artillery battery, but also we got these side techs. So let's kind of go take a look and see how they handle maybe something like this. Now oh, hold on, before we make any boo boos that cost us a whole bunch, I'm just going to make sure. I set all these to follow because that's the closest thing we have to attack or escort like we used to have. Escort was awesome. I loved that option because it would actually follow fairly decent and it would fight. In the last few updates I've noticed I set them to follow and they'll follow but when it comes time to fight the little pussies hang on back at the back. Well, these guys don't have the chance to hang off and play it safe. So we're going to see how they handle this little guy. And I ain't going to fire the front guns if I can help it. I'm going to try and let them do the work. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to take some damage here because they don't... Oh, there they go. They're starting. That's not me. I ain't pushing no buttons. If I had shields, it would have been a lot better. So if I keep a little bit of range... I should be able to get those megatons working on them. That's the downside with the megatons. They're great from a, a, a good distance, but when you get too close, they lose all ability to hit. So they're basically getting their front megatons and three pound cannons in on this, and we took him out quite effectively. And that's just the AI doing its thing. So it didn't even really have to take the shot, or take a shot before it started shooting. So that's pretty damn cool. So now what I like to do with most techs when I get them in and around is I like to take them for a drive. Now we all know it's going to handle great on the flatland. Moves along fairly good, about 35, oh, hitting 40, 44s. Man, it might do 50. Well, let's see how she handles some hills. Now, I got a feeling it's going to make it, but the thing that'll get it, oh, slippy wheels. No, not going to make it. 
Oh well, it did pretty good. I got about halfway up there. But the, the biggest problem with these big techs, it's you gotta kind of be careful where you are driving them. Grasslands and mountains probably aren't going to be your friends because of the lows and the highs of the ground and how fast they change. But desert, flatlands, salt flats, I mean, they're going to be far better to drive on. And I'm not saying this won't make it in the mountains. You just have to selectively go through it. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm going to try and take her into the mountains much. What I want to do is mainly go do some arse kicking. Since I got the AI tuned up, they all seem to be working fairly good. I want to put them to work. But they do need some more range. Like, look where I am, and none of those AI... Oh, there we go. First shot of the boat. Too close. And it's poop. Shoot them into pooper. So, yep, yeah, once again, that's not me. That's just the AI working. All I'm doing is driving. I'm trying to give it a good chance to get as many guns on it as I can. And it almost looks like the turrets in the center want to fire too, but since the range is so close, there's no way they can hit it. Oh, well, I think I got them. Or my AI got them. So there's another victory for the AI. So it's not perfect, but it's coming. So as you can see, it, it handles itself pretty good, and that's just the front too. If I was to back into things, I'd have three... Actually, let's do that. I got an encounter right here. And I'm going to send the back after them. And then if they want to get around to the, the real front, well, now they got to deal with that end of it. So let's see what we get into here. If I can get it, get this triggered. I don't think it's on the hill. It should be like right here. Oh, yeah. All clear. Oh, was that it? Okay. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to go find some enemies to try that on. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I think I found another one here. Let's see if these guys will trigger. Oh, here we are. Get out of there. Hey, should we just sit right in the middle? Let's sit in the middle. Let's see if they all get to work. Look at that. Now they're working. We got four corners being attacked. Oh, oh that back corner is too close. Here, let's get a little distance. Let's see if we can get them. Because I can't let them just take shots. Like, I got two at that corner. So let's maybe give some... Uh... See, they're aiming at the wrong damn things. That middle set should be aiming at that big guy. Yeah, see, they're damaging me now. Those small little shields. Okay, let's throw the front at them. Then I can throw some firepower in here. There, now we're hitting... Boom! Okay, see, they gotta have multiple tracking. It seems like it is, but everything is just too close. See, that's me helping a little bit there. Now I stop helping again, just get some distance. Come on, hit him, hit him. It's right there, hit him. Oh, over his head. Here, let's get back here a bit. Make him chase me a little and see if we can take him out before they get to me. So I got a feeling I'm taking a bit of damage here and there. Yeah, I'm losing some parts. Now well, it's kind of expected. Now with this big guy, let's see if we can get him with the back. He wants to. He's a scrapper. Oh, don't blow up yet. Let's get these guns after him. There's a bunch. Like, look at all of them. They just want to rip them up. Boom! Well, there we go. Split his wig all to crap. <laughs> He's got a little guy in there. Oh, he didn't do so great. So, yeah, as you can see, this thing works actually pretty, pretty nice. Everything seems to function good. The only downside is, like you saw, they get a little too close and it can't hit them very good down right beside the wheels. But, like every big tech, there's going to be a blind spot of some sort. And if there isn't, it just looks like a big block of guns. And it's hard to make something like that look really good. And this, it does look good. Like, I like this tech. It's nice looking. It's effective. 
and it's complicated so you know that's just kind of what I'm into I don't usually do too many things that are super easy <laughs> if I do it's because they're very effective so this is very effective and not real easy so that's like even better so yeah so there's a little battle demonstration I think what I'm even gonna try is I'm gonna take her for a rip through the grasslands and we're gonna see how it handles in there because if it'll handle that that's pretty fair like we had problems with the mountains couldn't get up that big one well he's still shooting at something cab alive still oh something walked into the danger zone prop well we'll see if he gets them I'm not gonna stop for him I'm just gonna drive on now the only thing I can see being a problem here is that it's all firepower that I'd have to use to take down trees and stuff and well they blow up close to you it hurts you so like for me I'd maybe replace that front armor with drills the short drills if you put the big Cerberus ones on they'd probably work too but they might get caught up even well they will get caught up worse than the other ones as you can see if we want to blow up all the trees we can probably run through here or if I can find a way to go that actually has an opening oh right here let's see if we can slide through that spot and so far it's still moving it turns good enough where you could negotiate most of this oh I'm sliding into that tree though that's not helping and I got no firepower on the side that I can control without switching. So there's another problem with the multi -techs. That if you have something like this, you're going to have to go back and forth. and You know, you have to do a little farting around, which is understandable. What well, comes down to once again, do you want looks and functionality, or do you just want it to be like a beast of a machine and never stop and don't care what it looks like and you know what I mean you can have form or function to get both is a trick but as I'm finding out here she handles quite nicely through this terrain the nice thing it being this size is it can hopefully skip over some of the real deep ones that would give me a problem but like always you know a little selective driving you might want to incorporate thought I was stuck didn't you and yeah, sometimes it'll bog out like that when you're trying to steer and drive it just won't seem to move I find letting off the steering just hold the forward that works or reverse whatever one you're going for or even just tap it like feather the steering sometimes it seems to sharpen up your turns too so now I'm not sure this thing has any base processing capabilities it looks like it's mainly meant for war I don't see no receivers anywhere. So yeah, he's warlike. He's already ripping up the excavator. Oh, no. They just shoot because they can? Yeah, they just felt like it. So yeah, that's a pretty good little run through there. If I had my SCU, maybe I'd clean that guy up, but let's let the side guns have a little taste of him. Get after him. Uh, sliding into them and getting too close. Guess what the back guns have at them. Those megatons should tune them up nice. Right in the eyeball. Done. There's one down. No. Oh. Wow, still going, eh? There, that should have been him. So yeah, it's very effective. Nope. Geocore license max. Even better. <laughs> uh, what would have been better is if the shield had been the same as when he had built it. Then it would have been probably not even damaged at all, really. Because you see the only spots that are damaged are what the shields aren't covering. So now, like most of the time, what I like doing here, as I've done my test, I ran through, gave it a little bit of a workout, seen how it handled. Now I'm probably going to rip this puppy apart. Let's see how this was put together kind of thing. Because you know what? That's the best way to learn something. 
is if you can, and it's not going to cost you a fortune, well, this being a game, it's free. So you can tear stuff apart, you can see how it was built, and then you see hey, what was done, Give you might just inspire me to make something. Well, actually, these type of texts, I've been wanting to build one, and like I said, I've started one. Now, mine's it's a tiny bit different than anything that you might have seen so far. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm always doing weird shit. So anyway, this looks like a good enough spot. I ain't gonna fart around trying to get back to salt flats. I'm just ripping this puppy apart now. So anyway, what I do kind of want to do is let's see. Wow, that's really kind of blurry. All right, let's do it this way then. Since I got 47 of them at my disposal, I will jump in this guy. We'll get a close look. So, let's see just how he's got this held together. And yeah, I'm going to make a big mess. Yeah, he's got lots of brackets. Come on, get out of there. Oh, cripple him. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's do it like this. Oh, I think we're dropping the tech out of there. Let's get a, a view of underneath before I do rip this all apart, just to see what's going on under there. Oh, it's going to get slow. So as you can see, there's a ton of bracket work. Every one is held in. Every tech is held in by brackets around the, the pins. It's kind of like a hinge idea. So that's pretty cool. And even the big centerpiece. And like I said, I had to add the cab, so hey, uh, Van, if you're listening, you might want to put a cab on there on your end if you plan on using this. Other than that, the AI might not work for you. But yeah, we got the bracketry. You can see the cabs underneath. And we got shielding, batteries, it's got the turbines in there for speed, and this does work like it's doing 50 <laughs> and it's this size, so yeah, a ton of batteries, so yeah, there's no energy production here. It's just a charge me up and go. Which are cool, like with that not that many batteries and well, now we'd need a lot more shields unless they fix these again. It would last for a hell of a long time. So anyway, that's pretty good there. And like you can see here, lots of armor. You can see most of the battery. This thing's probably like 60% battery. 30% brackets. <laughs> no, it'd be a lot of guns in there. So anyway, let's just see if we can yank that. Let's see if we can get that guy to fall right out. It's blurry again. Let's go back to this. Why is it so blurry when I go that way? Push. Okay. So we got that guy. That's not the cab. Or is that the only thing in here? So let's just do that. No, that wasn't the cab. So let's just rip some stuff apart here. Because I like breaking stuff. Not sure exactly where the cab is. Oh, found it. Found something anyway. So yeah, there's our corner. And I'm guessing that it's probably the same idea, holding most of it together. Oh, I should have got a skew, eh? That's where I was. Well, it put me over there. Stupid battery. So, yeah. That's kind of the workings of that. And the way the... The way he's got her all put together is quite a little feat in itself, isn't it?
Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. What else should we tear apart? It's kind of all the same, really. Like, from other parts, just shape different. So it's... It's impressive, but it's not really too hard to to show off or explain because you know he's done it in such a way where he's put a really advanced idea and he's made it in such a way where it doesn't have to be super super advanced like in the design I was like this here is a really good idea but honestly it is an old old idea it's a hinge so you know he's incorporated some things that are reliable and that will work good and give him awesome results and he's made a great tech with it then that's the kind of stuff I like he can make things as fancy and as holy crap awe inspiring as you want but if they don't work what real good are they if they're supposed to work those, uh, those things like that I call show techs just for funs kind of thing this thing it's a just for fun and, and some action it can go and do work so that's kind of my little take on this tech. So, just in case you're watching there, big thumbs up to the builder. I'm liking this one. I knew I was going to enjoy doing this as soon as I, I asked and he said alright. So, sorry I tore it apart. <laughs> so yeah, if you'd like to see any more showcase videos if there's a tech out there that you think needs a little more ex explanation or demonstration or you have something that you've liked there's all you need to do is just ask and there's a chance that I may just make a video for you for your tech if you would like I'm not guaranteeing nothing and I do reserve the right to refuse in case they're they're not something that I really want to do for various reasons maybe inappropriate I, that's kind of hard for me. I'm, I got kind of a dirty sense of humor. But there's sometimes, you know, techs are techs. And big ones, complicated ones. That's kind of what I like doing. So if you got something along these lines, or what I consider a monster, and by monster it doesn't have to be huge. I know everyone's thinking, yeah, this guy, you build some big techs, and that's what he means. But no, I mean monster as in cool as hell, scare the crap out of the enemy. Doesn't have to be huge could be small, but if it's cool as hell, and it'll scare the crap out of an enemy, I wouldn't mind looking at it. That's kind of why I check out the community cores all the time. So, just one last thing, everybody. I just got to ask that if you do like what you see, please throw the likes around. Subscribe to my channel. That way you can see the latest videos I have to offer that I'm hoping you may be inter interested in. Or just jump down into the comments and say hello, or goodbye, or why'd you do this, or why didn't you do that, or can you help me here, and just to socialize, you know? Because that's kind of what I started this channel for, is just to show what I've been building, in hopes that maybe I can inspire, help, give info or tips wherever they apply. And, well, if I don't hear from anybody, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of getting off track here. But I do really want to make sure you guys know that all your support is appreciated. I truly thank you. You guys have made YouTube just awesome. I've had way more fun than I ever thought I would doing this. So until next time, everybody, keep being awesome. Have a good one. Bye.